hello guys welcome back to this channel in this video i'm going to talk about eight pin timer relay a lot of videos on the internet talks about eight pin timer relay but the only thing you will see them doing is the connections without any explanations and at the end of the day they are going to leave you in the middle of the ocean but in this very video i'm going to explain all the things you need to know to get started and before you get started eight pin timer relay 8-pin timer relay is a type of relay with 8 connection points that includes a built-in timer function, allowing you to switch a circuit on and off after a preset time delay. This is the 8-pin timer relay. This is the coil and this is the base or the socket. And over here is the drawing on the 8-pin timer relay, the coil. This is the drawing. And I've drew everything here. Nothing has changed. The same drawing here is the same drawing I've drew over here. And I'm going to use this drawing on the paper to explain all the things you need to know. Now, let's take a look at a short description on this timer relay. Really. You could see that we have contact. It is the same contact here. You have the power, you have DC and AC. This is the power. Meaning the power that you are supposed to supply to this 8 pin timer relay really coil. We have DC and AC and the DC, the manufacturer did not specify it whether I'm supposed to supply this 8-pin timer relay with 12 volt DC supply, 24 or 36 or something like that. But the manufacturer did specify the voltage for the AC. That is the 220 volt AC. Meaning before this square will be energized, you have to supply live and neutral power to the base and we insert the coil like this to the base or the socket. Now, you can see that you have contacts, 5 amps. This is the maximum current rating that the coil can carry. So if the current rating of your load is more than this 5 amps, then you have to connect this timer relay to a contactor. And you use the contactor to control your load. You have this terminal here and this terminal. That is number 7 and number 2. That is the power where you are supposed to connect your life and neutral. This is the DC. The positive terminal and the negative terminal but with the ac the manufacturer did not say whether this is the live or this is the neutral you can decide to connect your live to this terminal and the neutral or you can bring your neutral here and your live here it's still going to work the only thing you have to know is that you have to make sure you are connecting it to the number seven and the number two we are done with that now you could see that we have this terminal number eight and number one number eight is the common to this side you see that we have number eight there is a tapping over here linking to this number six just linking to number six but it's normally open normally open and we have the number eight the same number eight linking to number five that is normally closed this is normally closed meaning the eight is linking directly to number five normally closed and we have number one this is a common terminal the number one is linking directly to number four and this is normally close and we have num the same number one linking to number three but this time around right, it's normally open the number one is linking to number three but it's normally open and the same number one it is linking to number four it's normally close and one thing you need to know about this eight pin timer really is that this normally open and normally close is different from this normally open and normally close with the terminal 8 normally open normally close terminals you see that we have something like triangle at this side telling you that this normally open and normally close section is different from this normally close and normally open at this section let's understand this principle if i connect the live and the neutral the live to the number seven and the neutral to number two and i turn on the breaker this diode the on it will light up but in order for the on to light up, I have to set my preset time first. Let's say I've set it to 10 seconds. The preset time simply means that the time that your load is going to work. So if I set it to 10 seconds, the moment I'm done with all the connection, I've connected it to my load and turn on the breaker. This on indicator you see here, you see that it will light up. Then the time will start counting automatically. To start, the moment I turn on the breaker, the time will start counting. The moment it counts to 10 seconds, then this normally close will turn to normally open. And this normally open will turn to normally close. 
That is the function of this side, something like a triangle. That is the function of this side. The moment I set the preset time and turn on the breaker, this on indicator you see here will light up. And the moment that 10 seconds rate, this normally close is going to turn to normal open, and the normal open is going to turn to normal close. Meaning this normal open, if I connect a load to it, it's going to serve as on delay time. Meaning it will turn on, but it will delay. So when the preset time, that the time that I've set, the moment the timer counts to that time, the 10 seconds, then this open is going to turn to close, and this close is going to turn to open. That's the way it works. And practically, I'm going to connect my lamp to it to see how it's going to operate. And this side, this side doesn't function as this side. So whenever you see a timer relay, you have to look at the symbols. 8-pin timer relay or any other timer relay that you could see. You have to look at the symbols. This side can be used to do the on-delay time and the off-delay time. And as I said, the on-delay time, it will turn on, but it will delay. And the off-delay too, it will also turn off, but it will delay. That's the way it works. And with this side, without any symbol like a triangle, this side, you mean the timer really receive the right voltage, that is the 220 volts. Automatically, this normally close you see here will tend to open, and this open you see here will tend to close. That way, this side works. It doesn't follow the on time and the off time delay regulations. It has its own principles that it follows it. This side, we can use this dial here to regulate this side, the on time and the off time. But this side doesn't follow these regulations. This side has its own way of working. When you set the on delay time and the off delay time, this side is going to work. It's going to affect only this side where there is this triangle, but this side won't be affected. The moment I connect my live and neutral, all the load, everything connected. The moment I turn on the breaker, this on indicator here will light up. And the moment the 10 seconds that I've set or any other time that I've set, the moment it's reached that time, this on indicator will go off and the app will come on, meaning the closed terminal has opened and the open terminal has closed. The moment the on indicator lights up, automatically the open will tend to close and the close will tend to open. So if you want to use the on delay time and the off delay time, how to use this section and not this section. Practically, let me connect it to see how it is going to work. I have my lamp here, I will connect it to see how it is going to work. I will be using the red cable as the live. I'm going to use number seven as my live terminal. I have seven at this side. I connect it to seven. The neutral to number two. connected the neutral to number two and the live to the number seven you have numbers on this socket or the base this is seven and this is two all the numbers you are seeing here is written down here here and here i connected the live to number seven so if i want to use this side i have to use a jumper a piece of cable and link the number seven power to number eight you can also connect the same live power from the breaker to the common terminal as number eight, if you want to use this side, how to link the line from the number seven to eight or from the breaker to eight, it will still work. If you want to use the number one terminal, this is common terminal, this is also common. So you want to use this side, how to link the live to number one. But in this case, I'm only going to use this side, the on delay and the off delay. I'm going to use this side. So I'll connect the line from number seven to eight. This is the jumper, a piece of cable. I'm linking from 7 to 8. I want to use this side. Okay, 
have this lamp holder here normally close to this lamp holder the normal open to this one i'll connect the neutral from the breaker to the lamp holder the neutral you can loop it from this side to the lamp holder or from the breaker to the lamp holder to still work okay we are going to use the normal open so right now i've looped the light from the number seven number seven to number eight we're going to use the number six as the output we have number six at this side i'll connect a cable from this side to the lamp holder and, and this cable is going to be the switch wire this is the cable from number six to the lamp holder okay this lamp holder is what is going to work on the preset time to make the preset time rate i'll set it to yes it's already at the 10 seconds section so the moment I insert it and turn on the breaker, it will start automatically, it will start counting. This on indicator over here will light up. I'll connect this one to the normally closed section. I've connected this one to the open and this one to the close. As I said, you can connect the neutral from this side to the lamp holder. It will still work. The number eight is linking directly to number five so you're going to connect a cable from number five to the lamp holder so this cable is what is going to be the switch wire for the normally closed section from five to the lamp holder this is number five and this is the cable So this is going to be the switch wire. So guys, right now you are done with the on delay and the off delay time. I've set the timer relay to 10 seconds. So the moment I turn on the breaker, this indicator here will light up the on. Then it will start counting. But before it starts counting, automatically when I turn on the breaker, this normally close is going to maintain the normally close meaning this lamp is going to turn on so what i will do is to insert my lamp this is a screw type how to screw it inside okay how the other one too the moment i turn on the breaker the timer is going to start counting until it reaches the 10 seconds that i set at the preset time then this normally close to go off and the normal open will turn on to never go off now let me turn on the breaker yes i connected this one to the normally close have it here this one has not turned on okay so right now this normally close you see here it has open and this open has turned to close but already this side, the normal open, normal close, so has changed position already. The open has turned to close and the close has turned to open. So it's not going to follow this time regulations. So guys, if you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I drop a video, YouTube is going to notify you 